Slime Language 2 dropped last month, and today I felt like cooking up a beat that fits the vibe of some of the songs on that album. The Slime Language albums are collaborative compilation albums by YSL Records, featuring a variety of artists and producers. The first album in the series dropped back in 2018 and was met with generally favorable reviews, debuting at number 8 on the Billboard charts. The follow-up album performed significantly better though, selling almost three times as many album equivalent units as the first, and debuting at number 1 on the Billboard charts. I'll be trying to take inspiration from producers like Southside, Palace, and Wheezy while cooking up today's beat. Let's get into the cook up. I opened up this pad preset in Analog Lab and I sampled one of the notes in Edison. I prefer to do this when I work with pads because it gives me better control over when the pad starts and stops playing. From there, I began laying down a simple chord progression in the key of C minor. This will just be the foundation upon which we build a more catchy and interesting sounding loop. Here's what it sounds like. After I had some chords I was happy with, I added some effects. First I added some RC20. Then I gave it some space with reverb, I cut the lows with an EQ, I exported the pattern clip, and I added this delay and effect rack. Here's what the pad sounds like now. I opened up this harp preset in contact and I laid down a counter melody. I added some RC20, cut a harsh frequency, exported the pattern clip, loaded it into the fruity slicer, and added this Pan Man preset. Here's what the counter melody sounds like now. I opened up this piano in Keyscape, and I laid down some notes to layer the melody and give it a bit more warmth. I added this RC20 preset, exported the pattern clip, and cut the lows with an EQ. Here's what the piano sounds like now. I opened up this flute and I laid down this melody. I added some RC20, threw some reverb on it, exported the pattern clip, and added some micro shift. Here's what the flute sounds like now. I opened up this preset in Sakura, and I laid down some notes. I added RC20, cut the lows with an EQ, added some reverb, and this Pan Man preset. Here's what it sounds like now. From there, I cut the melody into three distinct sections. Here's what the melody sounds like all together.
Now it's time to add some drums. I added a clap. I made this hat pattern. I have a tendency to overdo it with the kicks, so this time, I'm letting the perks do a lot of the heavy lifting for the drum rhythm. I laid down a crash. I made this kick pattern. I made this 808 melody. Here's what the drums sound like all together. Alright, that's pretty much everything. I'll be uploading today's beat to my second YouTube channel, as well as my BeatStars page. With all of that out of the way, let's see what we've come up with. J made the beat so we mixing them perfect.